if you ever wanted to visit space, guess what? You may now have a chance. NASA has officially announced the opening of the International Space Station to tourists. And it could happen as soon as 2020. Just plan for spring break right now. RT's Trini Chavez has the story. Well, now you don't have to be a certified astronaut to go on board the International Space Station. NASA has announced that it'll officially be opening the ISS to tourism and other business ventures, allowing companies to access and use the station's facilities for the first time. If you want to have the ISS as your backdrop or your soundstage, like they did in the movie Gravity with Sandra Bullock, well, now you don't have to worry about the green screens or special effects. Now you could rent out the ISS. All this a part of NASA's effort to boost revenue and economic growth. NASA said that it would open the space station for private astronaut missions for up to 30 days, with the first one being as early as 2020. We are so excited to be part of NASA as our home and laboratory in space transitions into being accessible to expanded commercial and marketing opportunities, as well as to private astronauts. NASA will start with two private astronaut flights a year, with each trip lasting 30 days maximum. And they're not cheap either. Each trip will likely cost over $50 million, with NASA getting $35,000 for each night a private astronaut spends on the International Space Station. Companies will also be able to bid for new activities aboard the ISS, like shooting a movie or commercial. The agency said in a statement, more than 50 companies already are conducting commercial research and development on the space station via the International Space Station U.S. National Laboratory, and their results are yielding great promise. In addition, NASA has worked with 11 different companies to install 14 commercial facilities on the station that support research and development projects for NASA and the ISS National Lab. The commercialization of the space station has long been considered as a way to reduce NASA's yearly costs for operating the space station. But this won't be the first time the ISS has been host to tourists. A U.S. businessman paid around $35 million for the trip in 2001, and others followed in his footsteps, the last one being Cirque du Soleil founder Guy Laliberti in 2009. Since 2011, Russian Soyuz rockets have been the only way to get to the space station, and they have been transporting only space agency astronauts. In addition to Russian cosmonauts, Russia plans to resume tourist flights in late 2021. Reporting in New York, Trinity Chavez, RT. Shalom. Call hello, la Yahweh, by Hashem Yahusha, which means all praises to Yahweh, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who you people ignorantly call God, by Hashem, and the name of Yahweh Sha, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who you people ignorantly call Jesus Christ, okay? Those are the true names of the Heavenly Father and the Son. Plus, I'm going to give a shout out to the Akim that's pushing and spreading his word throughout the four corners of the earth. Also, uplifting the name Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha. And to the confusion of uh, face Akim and Akwaf, brothers and sisters, whose bloodline traces back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our forefathers, though you may look like one of the heathen nations that you're scattered amongst. Same to if your sea line. Goes or traces back to one of these tribes through the man. And if your spirit bear witness with this word and this truth, you can receive it to the confusion of face. Brothers and sisters out there, if these do apply, you are Israelites, though you may look different. Okay? To the to the uh, few aqua, once again, you sisters out there that do listen and learn, Shalom, to the elect of the nation of Israel, wherever you may be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, who this word is going out to, Shalom to you as well. Lord willing, I'll be one of those men. To you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you combine and consist and make up the 12 tribes of Israel, okay? You are the Hebrew Israelites, the most chosen people, the most high Yahweh, once again, his son, who you people actually call Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shah, okay? And um, I just played that uh, another video on RT America. It says NASA, okay, to offer space vacations to millionaires, okay? And... The whole point of me doing this lesson is these elites, okay, these Rothschilds on down, the DuPonts, the Rockefellers, all of them, okay, they know, okay, the destruction of their kingdom, okay, they Edomites, by the way, is coming, okay, they know, that the, uh, the wrath of Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha is coming, okay. So this is a uh, 
Psalms. I, I get Psalms, start with this, Psalms 37 and 12, the wicked, the wicked, if you go to Malachi 1 and 4, as I always say, because there's no way around it, you go to Malachi 1 and 4, it says Edom, the Edom, the so-called uh, uh, white man, okay, plot off against the just and that's upon him with his teeth, the Lord shall laugh at him, for he see if his day is coming, that his day is coming, and they see, okay, the prophecies come to pass, they see, okay, the things that's leading up to their destruction, to the end of their world, is coming to pass. So, what are they going to do? It's, it's, it's in the scriptures that they're going to try to hide, man. Hide, man. Okay? Because, let me get this. Right now, this is Jeremiah 16. And 16, this is what's happening right now. Okay? Uh, this is Jeremiah 16, 16. Behold, <coughs> excuse me. Behold, I will send for many fishes, said the Lord, and they shall fish them. And who is the fishes? The prophets. And what are we fishing for? Fishing for the what? Elect of the nation of Israel. Okay? The elect. That's what we are looking for. Okay? And the elites see that. They see we're fishing for the house of David. Okay? And this is what's going to happen real soon. And after will I send for many hunters. And they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill out of the holes of the rocks. Okay? So that's why this that's what was coming. And this is why they, you know, that's really with these whole space, okay, space stations, these seas, these underground uh uh bunkers, okay, the bunkers in the mountains, okay, and even in the sea, man. Okay? That's why they're gonna run it at. And they have, okay, these at least got money, man. They have, okay. The wealth, man. They have these these things. These are real, man. Okay? And they're going to try. They're going to run to it. Okay? If they already have it now. Okay? This is Revelations 6, if I'm not mistaken. I didn't put any scriptures together, you know. Um... Cause this was this is what they're running for. This is Revelation 16 4. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it rolled together, and every mountain and island will move out of their places. And how was that? That's talking about the mushroom cloud and the destruction from the, the thermonuclear ISBM missiles that these nations are gonna uh, shoot, man. Okay? That's what it's talking about. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bond man. And every free man hid themselves in the dens and the rocks of the mountains. And that's what they're going to do. They're going to hide in these mountains. Because the elites, they're going to be preserved for this destruction. And I'll get this, this, this scripture on why they're going to be pre preserved for the destruction. I mean, for the um, from the destruction. Okay? And said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us. And actually... Let me read it, and then I'm going to get it out. And said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us, hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. That Lamb is who? Yahawashah, man. Okay? That's why they're going to be hiding, man. They're going to be hiding from Yahawashah, the angels, okay? And what? The elect men that Yahawashah is going to give power to, man. Okay? Once again, Lord will I be one of those men. Okay? That's who they're going to hide from. And a movie that you can see that shows this uh, is beneath the planet of apes. Okay? Because that's based off the Israelites. What Esau did was he, he put the truth in the movie, but he'll try, he will try he tried to make mockery of us by saying we were apes, man. Okay? Because they like calling us apes. Okay? Watch that movie. Because you had the uh, beneath and beneath the planet of the apes, you had the uh, e the apes. They were uh, looking, basically, okay, I would say for the elites, because you had these, 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 um, I will say they represented the elites in the movie of uh, Beneath the Planet Apes. You had these uh, four, these, 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 uh, I don't know how to explain it. These people. And all they had, they said all they had was deceit, okay? And their, their so called magic, man. And the bomb that they so called claimed was their God. And the apes came in the rocks, and what happened? 
They caught them. Okay? They were hiding from the uh, uh, apes, man. They feared the apes, which really, it represented the Israelites, man. Okay? You know, I'm not calling us apes, but that's, you know, how Esau tried to, you know, make mockery. Just watch that movie and you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay? For the great day of the, his wrath is coming. Who shall be able to stand? So that's them, man. That's why they're going to hide, man. Okay? They're going to hide from Yahweh Shah, his, his angels, and the elect, man. Okay? But this is what the Lord said. It's prophesied that they would do this. Okay? This is Amos 9 and 1. I saw the Lord standing upon the altar, and he said, Smite the lintel of the door that the post may shake and cut them in the head, all of them, and I will slay the last of them with the sword. He that fleeth of them shall not flee away, and he that escape of them shall not be delivered. Though they dig into hell, then shall my hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven, right? The space stations, okay? Thence will I bring them down, okay? And though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, I will search and take them out thence. And though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, thence will I command the serpent, Leviathan, you know, that the Leviathan, and he shall bite them, okay? And that's that's the thing, man. They're gonna do all they got all these all these hiding places, man. They're gonna do whatever they can, okay, to get away. Okay, and Esau's gonna get whatever away, storm with these elite bankers, bankers, they're gonna do whatever they can, okay, to escape their judgment, man. Okay? It's not gonna work. It's already prophesied that you, okay, would do this, man. Whatever you uh uh you try to do to escape prophecy, you can't, man. Okay? This is your house. A uh, movie, man. Okay. And once that happens, this is what was gonna happen. This is really what they don't want to uh, uh, face. This is Psalms one forty nine and one. Praise ye the Lord, sing to the Lord a new song. His praise in the congregation of his saints, of saints, the Israelites. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise in his name and the dance. Let them sing praise unto him with the tremble and harp. For the Lord take a pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of Yahweh be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. That's a literal two-edged sword. Okay? Um... To execute vengeance upon... The heathen and punishment upon the people, man. Okay? These 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 two thirds of our own people, okay? The so called uh 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 white man, Esau Edom, and the rest of these heathen nations, man. Okay? That's done us wrong, man. Done the Israelites wrong, man. Okay? To execute I just read that. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetter fetters of iron, okay? To execute upon them the judgment written. Written. Keep in mind, it says written, man. Okay? This is already... According to the scriptures, this has already happened. But right now, we're playing it out. Okay? This honor have all the saints. Praise you the Lord. So, we're going to bind, okay, the kings of all these nations, man. Okay? All of our enemies, man. Okay? And that's why all of them are going to go into what? They're going to go into hiding, man. Okay? They're going to go into hiding because they want to escape this from happening. But it's, it's not going to happen. Okay? They're going into captivity, okay? According to prophecy, okay? So, this is, you know, this is why they're doing what they're doing. But that was just a real quick lesson. Shalom. Call her Lord, Lai, Hau, Bashim, El Shah. Adawan, Ratazah. Lord willing. This was edifying. Shalom to the elect.